Hey everyone, Jerry here with Real Sim Gear. Just wanted to give you a really quick overview of our uh, G1000 suite product. Uh, it's been really popular lately and a lot of people asking questions about it. So we thought we'd do a quick video to show you uh, what's included and uh, a really great way to set it up um, for an effective um, platform at home for practicing IFR work, VFR work, or just having a good time. So. Here you can see I've got the G1000 suite, which includes the PFD, GMA audio panel, and the MFD. And that's all secured in our desktop stand. And so that makes, that's the top part here. And it's actually shown here, mounted on top of our flight deck mounting plate. And what's cool about that is it allows you to uh, mount everything to either a honeycomb yoke or a Logitech yoke using the uh, the standard Logitech hole pattern at the top here and there's actually a couple of screws holding this down to the honeycomb yoke in this instance. So uh, it gives you a nice flat surface to mount the G1000 stand which can also be reconfigured to mount in a Cirrus configuration if you want to um, do that and uh, you can see on the front here there's a mounting panel which en enables you to put on a Logitech throttle quadrant like this and there's another spot here to put on a trim wheel or you can actually put two of these on if you want to have a multi-engine configuration. This same plate allows you to fit the GCU stack that we have which will allow you to upgrade this configuration to the uh, Cirrus Perspective version. What's shown here uh, with the Honeycomb Yoke requires the Honeycomb Lifter Kit which is uh, sold separately on our website or it works just fine with the uh, Logitech Yoke. So this setup is just using the standard uh, 172 G1000 that comes with X-Plane 11 and uh, gives you a really great platform to get familiar with the G1000 system. Um, what makes it a great choice with the, the Honeycomb yoke is that you've got the mags, uh, master and avionics switches and lights. So it really does um, allow you to get away with uh, having to buy the additional Logitech switch panel and uh, it just provides a really compact way to mount it to a standard desktop. So this just uses whatever mounting solution you want that comes with uh, the yokes. In this case, we're using the, the uh, U-shaped brackets that come with the honeycomb yoke. Um, there's also the standard mounting bracket that comes with the Logitech yoke, or this can even work with the adhesive pad that comes with the, uh, the honeycomb uh, mounting system. So there you have it. Any questions, feel free to hit us up, info realsimgear.com. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you, thanks.